Um, Kyrie and KD went to Brooklyn. Yep. The world got flipped on its head over there in New York. Yep. Knicks Nation has kind of held down the fort of the world, the city that never sleeps. Now Brooklyn looks like it's about to hold that thing down for at least the next few years. Why do you think they picked Brooklyn over the Knicks? And what is your experience whenever you were with the Nets? Well, I don't know what universe you've been watching, but the Knicks ain't made the playoffs in like nine years or something. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nets have made it like a lot more than them, I think, lately. Uh, but I don't know. I think, I think, <clears throat> I think, you know, Brooklyn in the last, since they've switched to Brooklyn from New Jersey, has just done a great job with their brand. You know, a great job of, of um, you know, turning things around, you know, especially over the last couple, since I've left, they've, I mean, they've, you know, kind of started over and they've done a great job and, um, you know, new ownership in there now and, and new, pretty much new everybody. And so it's like they got a new life and, and the Nick, the Knicks are kind of just same owner doing the same things. You know, um, you always talk about like you hear about, you know, this organization is a good organization, a well-run organization. You don't really hear too many of those things about, about the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. I mean, like, it's it's sad because i mean that's one of the like if if you know you'd ask me when i was playing if i could just go anywhere you know and it would have worked out the knicks the knicks are one of those places man because the garden is special like it's probably my favorite place to play in the nba there's so much energy in there they love the game of basketball they want their team to be so good it just hasn't happened for whatever reason um in the nfl if you're a high profile athlete you get a bunch of lunatic creatures that can cure all with their super potions and shit like that. I think KD will be back for the second half of next season with this Achilles thing because there's something, some treatment plan will happen. Those are big eyes you're showing. Right now. You are showing some big eyes right now. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking right now. While you go ahead, keep going. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking that with the rehabilitation the rehab, the possibilities. As a guy who owns a gym, which you do, which we will talk about. By the way, in the MMA space, which is wild to me. I can't wait to talk about that. But do you think KD will be back next year? And do you think the Nets can make a real run at this? You know, that's a tricky question. I, I'm sure... No, I don't know, man. They say Achilles are like a year. It's like a year thing, you know? I mean, I'm sure he could be back in eight months, nine months, but is he going to be, you know, ready? I mean, that's going right into like the playoffs, playoff time. I mean, that's hard to that's hard to come back from, and be, you know, full speed, you know, where they need him to be. Um, cause that's a, that's a tough injury, you know. Seasons are especially, so especially at his age. You know, he's older now. I mean, he's in his thirties now, right? Yeah, he's old. He's old. He's, he's got, got a new old. number too. He's got a new number too. He's number seven. What does he know? He's number seven, man. Thirty-five got him in the league. Thirty-five got him some things. Thirty-five did this. Thirty-five did that. Seven's about to take him to a new fucking height, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe lucky number seven will get him back on the court. Hey, <laughs> now we're talking. But I don't even know. Do they want him back? You know, next year? Do they want to just get him through that whole first year? Let them develop. Let all their guys, you know, and then him integrate him in the next year. 